Hello, hello, ladies and gentlemen, Harlequin Coho here, and I have an awesome 1v1 for you today. And when I say awesome, I of course mean awesome. So in the upper position here on this map, we have Automed 3, who you have all seen before. He is currently ranked number 2 for armor, and uh, he is also ranked number 12 for blitz as Automed 2, I believe. Uh, but anyhow, we have Automed 3 up here as the armor commander, and to the south, we have, you know him as Johnny Krypton today, he is playing just as plain old Krypton, and congratulations to him, by the way, he is currently number one on the Blitzkrieg ladder, uh, we have Johnny Krypton here, aka Krypton, so the two of them are heading off, uh, you can see they just met each other on the ladder, it's just a random game, and uh, I was totally thrilled by this and really wanted to see it, so let's take a look around and see the starting positions, sorry, my camera's darting around wildly here, you can tell I'm just so excited. Uh, so Automed going into his barracks right away, and meanwhile we have Krypton going into his Wehrmacht quarters right away. Uh, you'll see he's just sending his uh, next set of field pioneers out to cap the fuel points on the left. Uh, meanwhile, the next set of engineers here for Automed is heading out as well. So uh, Automed, we're going to wait and see his money here. He hasn't spent it yet, so he must be saving up for a hero unit. Uh, you can see he's getting past 300. Uh, 310 is Wilson's, and 320 is going to be Gladiator's, so it's likely one of the two. And boom, there we go. So Gladiator Rifleman it is. So meanwhile, it uh, looks like um, we do have uh, some units coming out here for Krypton. Let me go ahead and switch on down to Krypton's point of view. And it looks like these are Volksgrandeers, probably Katzenmeyer's Volksgrandeers or something to that effect because they're coming out a little bit later. And uh, we'll just take a look around the map and see what these guys are doing. Uh, in the meantime, let me take a look at the uh, commander abilities here for both of these players. You can see that um, Krypton has got infantry pillage, flares, stormtroopers, manpower blitz, and heavy armor support. I really do like all of those abilities. Uh, pretty much the only thing it's lacking is uh, any sort of rocket barrage or anything like that. But uh, if he can make do without it, that's pretty cool by me. Uh, so in the meantime, uh, we'll take a look up here at Automed and check out his uh, his stuff. So Automed here is going to be playing as an armor commander, as I went over before, and he has armor bounty, HVAP rounds, self repair, uh, Calliope, and Pershing. I think that's pretty much the uh, the most obvious and best uh, armor abilities out there. By the way, I recently published a video just kind of going over walking through how I spend my own points on my own armor tree and all that sort of thing. So that might be helpful for some people. Anyhow, uh, like I said, we do have the Gladiator Rifleman on the field now uh ready to just you know totally kick some ass these guys are fantastic units and uh we'll see what's going on here so gladiator rifleman right away just gonna kind of defend here on this flank uh the uh the field pioneers are doing their thing uh normally field pioneers at level three can like crippling traps but uh i kind of forget uh what low level heroes do nowadays because they juggled everything around at that last patch uh, but we'll see here that right away Krypton went and placed a whole bunch of barbed wire and just wiring this whole place off. Uh, that's kind of interesting. It tells me that he's going for more of a left and right kind of control. And you'll see that for the time being, the Gladiator Rifleman kind of chased everybody away. But uh, not to be deterred, uh, Krypton went and got a heavy machine gun team next. You can see he's got the 15% increased weapon damage, 30% sight range, and oh my god, he's totally lined up right on the Gladiator Rifleman. Will he have sight over them? Yes, he is, and he's opening fire right away into these Gladiator Riflemen. And look at that, not even wasting a beat. Ottoman goes ahead and fires up his Gladiator Rifleman to get them unsuppressed and just charges them away. So uh, that's pretty cool. He didn't want to take any losses, spent five munitions. Hey, man. No problem, that's a pretty cheap ability, and uh, the cooldown is going to happen with nothing else going on. So uh, those riflemen now are just kind of lying in wait, and we do have kind of an initial conflict going on here between the Kotzenmeyer's Volksgrandeers and these normal riflemen. By the way, note that Ottoman has all the normal riflemen upgrades. Armor, accuracy, and sight range. I like all of that. One kill going off uh, for the Kotzenmeyer's Volksgrandeers. Now both sides are suffering a casualty. Two casualties for the riflemen here, and a single hand grenade. Is Ottoman going to notice it in time? Oh my god, no, the hand grenade goes off and blows up the rest of these men. Uh, two riflemen remaining, and they're going to have to retreat. Four victorious Katzenmeyer's Volksgrandeers now doing their thing. Uh, we do have the engineers now picking this point. Note, by the way, he has single rifles for his engineers. Uh, I try and point out these army items as they come. And this HMG team now just drilling away at this truck in front of it, uh, but definitely even at that range able to suppress these Gladiator riflemen and try and provide some cover. I'd like to see him move them up just a little bit maybe to provide some more cover for these Katzenmeyer folks who have taken yet another casualty. There are three of them remaining. Uh, Rifleman just pouring out for Automed. 
We'll take a look here at Automat's army, by the way. He does have three Ruffman squads and two uh, Engineer squads. It's a pretty standard opening. I would say pretty much every armor player usually starts with four Ruffman squads on, on their first two, after their first two uh, Engineers here. But here we have close combat Volksgrenadiers engaging point blank the Gladiator Ruffman. These are two of the most brutal hero uh, heroes for both Axis and Allies. Uh, two casualties right away for the close combat Volks, uh, but now uh, it looks like three casualties for the for the Gladiator Rifleman and uh, Infantry Pillage is now activated and it looks like the Gladiator Rifleman are getting out of there. You can see that even getting a little bit of a heal here from Infantry Pillage and the Heavy Machine Gun team is now moving up into position. Uh, the Engineers here are forced to retreat as well. So uh, those are two really brutal units so seeing them both kind of clash like that is pretty intense. Uh, meanwhile, we'll see over here on the right-hand side, it looks like Automed has got both of his rifle squads moving out, uh, ab instantly scaring away these pioneers and going for the capture point. So he does have light control over this area, but as you can see, I will swap to the mini-map here. Um, uh, Krypton has taken control of the left-hand side for the time being and has pretty reasonable control over here. Again, I want to take a look at these defenses and just kind of see what he ended up doing here. Looks like he just wired off this little area. This is kind of an annoying place to fight, and uh, he kind of wants to funnel all troops through here, it sounds like. So it uh, looks like that's the status over there. Uh, machine gun team now capturing. I don't usually see machine gun teams capture stuff. They even have army items that boost machine gun capture rates, but I think they're kind of useless. Uh, meanwhile, these close combat Volksgrandiers capping this fuel point. And for the time being, combat seems to have ceased a little bit here. Everybody's kind of getting ready here. Kotzenmeyer is moving out once again, uh, skirmishing a little bit with his rifleman squad here. Uh, you know, nothing much going on. Both don't really want to engage. Supporting units now coming in. You can see getting a nice little pincher here. Kotzenmeyer's Volksgrenadiers would be wise to retreat, and they are. Meanwhile, in the middle of the map, uh, it looks like Automat is setting up some landmines. This is a wonderful and classic place to put landmines. Pretty much you never want to walk through there, or if you do, do it with minesweepers, because late game, everybody has dropped mines there. Uh, looks like these riflemen are pushing in a little bit further now. Uh, Kotzmeyer's Volksgrenadiers. I wonder if they're going to throw a hand grenade. Usually it's bad in this open terrain, but if Automat is paying attention, yes, he is paying attention, easily moving out of the way of that hand grenade, and it looks like Krypton's going to be retreated for now. And by the way, I like this little side note here. Uh, these flame engineers that just laid that mine came over here, snipped a single hole, and walked away again. Uh, that's pretty cool. Uh, whenever I see uh, barbed wire fences set up places, I like to just cut one hole in them just so they don't obstruct. Uh, obstruct units and that sort of thing. By the way, uh, this is a more advanced tactic, but some players have a really keen eye for retreat pads and things like that on the map, and blocking off certain areas of the map uh, causes units to retreat in very awkward ways because they can't get back in the normal way. Here we have quickly a, uh, looks like a flame engineer is coming in and uh, trying to take out this heavy machine gun team. The machine gun team can't quite decide which target it's going for. It looks like they're going to have to retreat right now as the fire comes raining in on them. Oh, taking one casualty here and finally getting out of the way. And it looks like Automed just retreating here. I'm not quite sure why those guys ended up retreating, but that's not the worst thing in the world. Meanwhile, uh, looks like uh, control on the left-hand side has reverted back to Automed's uh, back to Automed's side, and we have just counter mines going on here. So we have some mines here on the left, and we have uh, Krypton's mines here in the middle. By the way, Krypton does have the rifle upgrade and the 16% health. I never can remember if I call these things out or not as they come. Uh, but here we have the first Grenadiers on the field. Uh, that means that he does, by the way, have a Krieg barracks up. I'm going to go ahead and swap on back to Krypton's point of view here, so mind the change on the minimap, and you'll see that Automed here is just finishing capturing this point. Uh, Krypton has just used a flare, but I don't see where that is. Uh, it is currently active but that's fine. I won't worry about that too much. You'll see his Grenadiers have 20% uh, reduced reinforcement cost and 6% extra armor, i.e. 6% extra reduced damage. I, I just call that armor, but I'm not really sure if they're the same or not. Uh, Blitz anti-tank gun now moving out. Katzenmeyer's Volks Grenadiers now moving out. And uh, the Pioneers are hanging out here. Uh, if, he's, if he notices that, he might repair it, but uh, probably not. Looks like Kotzenmeyer is here engaging in some skirmishing with these riflemen. They're going to have to get out of there. And yes, Automat, as soon as he notices that, retreats them out of the way. They may take one casualty. Yes, they do. But looks like the other two gentlemen are going to get home in time for supper. I don't know what I'm talking about this morning. I'm a little crazy. So, Gladiator Rifleman right now firing away. Oh, and taking out taking out the last of the field pioneers right as they get that point here. And it uh, looks like the Fatherland HMG team is all set up out here and just firing away. Uh, by the way, quick pause uh, for anyone who is not familiar with this stuff. Just a quick update. Fatherland HMG team, 
fights better in home territory. It's got longer range. They move faster, that sort of thing. Close combat Volksgrenadiers equipped with MP40s. Really awesome in close combat. Uh, brutal, brutal units here. Uh, the Blitz anti-tank gun. It can fire three times while cloaked without breaking cloak. Uh, let me see if I'm missing anything else here. Katsumar has Volksgrenadiers. They can throw uh, hand grenades. Later on, they get Panzerfaust and a few other things like that. I'm just trying to see if I missed anything else here. The Gladiator Riflemen, who are currently retreating right here, they can throw sticky bombs, hand grenades, and they can sprint and that sort of thing. And now I will unpause it. I just like to try and cover all of the hero units so people know what the hell I'm talking about. But, for the time being, it looks like uh, Krypton now has kind of control over the things he wants. Notice, by the way, he didn't repair the hole. He just dropped the mines there. And uh, now he's walking across. Look out for the mines, little guys! Oh, and they take the mines right in the face. And going to have to retreat. It looks like Automed, uh, these flamethrower engineers, kind of chuckling to themselves. They're going to go ahead and just set up these mines once again. Uh, always a good idea to put your mines out. But remi remember, there could be mines just nearby. Uh, but for the time being, it looks like they're okay. Infantry pillage is active, and oh my god, they walk across the mines and they take full casualties! Oh my god, every single one of them killed right as infantry pillage is up. Uh, could it be that he activated that simply because of the mines? I think he activated because of this, but still, that was a big pile of money for getting that uh, all of a sudden there. That is a big deal. Um, anyhow, so that was a, quite a surprise. But meanwhile, it uh, looks like these engineers here uh, bumping into the